Following on from my previous video on how to install the Nest Learning Thermostat, I thought I'd show you a quick rundown of all the settings and features of the Nest itself. Obviously one of the main functions of the Nest Thermostat is being able to control the temperature up and down. That's done by just turning the dial. So there we are, the heat's set at the moment to 17 and a half degrees. The actual temperature in the room is 19. You can turn this up or down, like so. And if you turn it past the temperature there is at the moment, say to 21 degrees, screen goes orange. This means that the boiler is working and sending heat to the radiators. So you can turn that right back down now, turn the boiler off, and now it's set to 17 and a half degrees. The room temperature is still 19. One of the main features that improved the third generation Nest thermostat over the earlier models was the fact that this has far sight. The far sight means that as you approach the thermostat or as you pass by, it'll show you a function on the screen. In my case, I've got it set to the current temperature. So as I approach the thermostat or as I walk past, I'm about two meters away now. That shows me that the room is at 19 and a half degrees. You can set this to show you other functions and I'll show you that in the settings menu. As you get a little closer to the thermostat, so now I'm about half a metre away, it changes so it shows you what you've got the heat set to, which at the moment is 17, and the temperature in the room is around the outside, which is 19 and a half. I'm just going to run through a few of the features on the Nest itself. So to enter the menu, you click it, and then you're presented with this. Turn in the dial around the outside, I'll go through all the different menus. This main screen shows you the weather today and the outside temperature, the date and time, the temperature in the room and the humidity in the room as well. The tick will take you back to the main screen. So we'll go into the settings menu, click the screen and we're presented with a few different options. You've got the lock function, if you want to lock the thermostat to stop people playing with it. To go through the options, just use the dial, press do not lock, because we don't want to lock it. You've got the eco function, which is basically the temperature that it sets to while you're away from the house. At the moment it's set to 17. If we click the screen, we can change that up and down but we'll leave it at 17. Click then. Go across, this is the home away assist function. It's whether or not you use eco, so we will. You've got Nest Sense. And then this just shows you a few of the things that Nest Sense has got. Got sunblock in case the thermostat's in direct sunlight. And you've got the leaf, which just tells you if you've uh, earned a leaf or not. Okay, so moving on, I've got brightness. You can set that to, to different ones. I usually have it on auto, which is that one, but you can't see that. So I've put it on low so you can see it on the video. And you've got display, which is the most interesting setting, I suppose, where you can change what Farsight does, or whether you even use Farsight. So you can either have Farsight set to the target temperature, you can have it set to the current temperature of the room, which is what I've got. You can have it set to an analog clock, you can have it set to a digital clock, or you can have the weather on there. Out of all those, I find the current temperature the most useful. And I've never set this to not use Farsight, quite like the function. Perhaps if it was in a busy area of the room or you had it near where you were sitting, you might not want it on. And you might just want to wake it on pressing or on approach. Okay, that's that. You can turn the click on and off, but it doesn't annoy me, so I leave that on. You can change the temperature from Fahrenheit to centigrade. Just to click on that, we'll change that from one to the other. 
that's just where it is in the living room who would install the thermostat in the backyard I don't know and then all different things that The next few I won't show you because it's my own personal settings. Got the language, obviously you can set it to different languages. The equipment that it's working with, in this case is a combi boiler with heat on and off. Then, Nest Pro is more for the professional installers. You have to have a, an official ID to get in there. Technical info, you don't really need to go in there much. It tells you it's the battery, how much power is there. Things like that, and they tell you all different technical settings on each piece. Legal info, don't think you need to see that. And a reset button, just to set it back to where it was. Whenever you're done, just go back there, and you're done. So go back into the menu now. So that's the settings menu, done. Got the schedule menu there. Go straight to where you are now at this moment. We just press the screen and click done. I'll do another video to show how to set the schedule on both the app and the Nest. This is an interesting function. It shows you how much energy you've used. So yesterday on Friday the 13th, I used five hours worth of energy. You can go back through the days. If you click that again, It'll take you in and show you exactly when the heating was on. And it tells you there, manual adjustments resulted in energy usage above the weekly average. And that was because I was at home working and I was turning it up. Well, you can do that for every day. Show you exactly when it was on. And just scroll to there when you're done. So we'll go back into the menu the energy this is to be able to turn it on and off so for example in the summer when it's no longer needed just turn it off there and it's always off and turn it on eco so that's away manually but you can do that via the app as well and then heat we'll keep it on heat I think there we go jobs are good if you've got any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the box below I will get back to you. If you liked the video or you found it useful, then please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos this year, so please subscribe.